guys, it's Jacob with Meeple Leaf Reviews. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing video. This isn't going to be something we're going to do a lot of, but I thought it might be fun for Kickstarters that we're receiving since they come with a little extra goodies here and there, uh, something that you wouldn't find in the normal game box. So today we're taking a look at Vitalia, the creation, which was a Kickstarter that I backed. I pre-opened this box, but I haven't looked inside, so let's see what we got. Now, so here's the die. This is a large etched die. Uh, let's see if I can get some good angles there. So these are looking pretty cool. And this is a really large die too. You can see the uh, size of my hand. I don't think, oh, here we go. Here's another smaller die for size comparison. He's comparing dice. This is crazy. Okay, so I'll set that aside here. We got um, a couple little tokens here in a bag. Uh, some checks and X's. I believe these are for the character creation or uh, the character special abilities. So those are actually right here. So here is, um, that's a really cool image right there. Let's get this out of the bag so you're not getting blue glare. See if I can't get a close up of that. That's pretty sweet artwork. Uh, there's a couple of them here. I might as well show you, show you all of them. Looks like he's riding a phoenix, riding a bear, and riding a griffin. Now on the backs of these, uh, there are looks like six special abilities, and I think these are exclusive to the Kickstarter. I'm not sure they might be in the in the core box as well, but. These give you extra special abilities that you can activate, uh, something different for each player. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what else do we got here? We got some, the Unbound Buffalo, which is also, I think, an exclusive. This is a, a hero or a, it's a mercenary hero. I don't know if this guy fights against all players or if you can maybe get him on your team. This is pretty cool. Let's try and get a close up there of that guy. It's just like a mercenary riding this awesome buffalo. I like how they did the stand here. They actually have him standing on like a, a platform, a raised platform. It's not just on the basic circle on the bottom. Now the detail isn't the highest quality I've seen, but this is some good work. It looks looks pretty good. I'm excited about that. And we'll get to the other minis uh, inside the box here in just a second. So that's it for the extras. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there's something falling around in there. Whoa, almost knocked over the camera. Okay, so here's the box. Vitalia, the creation, it's a pretty big one pretty thick. It's got some weight to it. Let's crack this boy open and uh, see what's inside. Okay. See if we can't get you a better close-up of the, uh, the cover. So there you got the bear. Vitalia. The creation. Cool. All right, that was just a die that was floating around in there. Uh, no, oh, this is for the wheel. There's like two little knobs here for just assembling the uh, the little wheel for the time gauge kind of thing. We got a bunch of uh, envelopes. What do you call bags? I don't know why I called them envelopes. We got some bags in there. We got all the cards. So it looks like there are four big stacks of cards here. So that's quite a bit of stuff going on. Um, these are everything from the map tiles to the supplies to characters and these are artifacts. And maybe we'll open these up and take a look inside. I just want to see kind of what else is in here first. So these are player aids. They are double sided, quite large. So those are good. Lots of information there. We got, what's this? 
Are these shields? Flare shields for each player? Huh. Must must be. I don't remember uh, what this is. But it looks like there are multiple player shields. I don't remember why you would need player shields. I didn't think there was hidden information, but cool. Okay. Figure that out later. Yeah, I don't remember. That must that might have been like an, uh, an extension uh, stretch goal or something. So you got some cool... Oh, nice. Right in the middle of the rule book, you got this huge piece of artwork. How awesome is that? That is pretty tight. Um, oh, so this is a storybook. This isn't even the rule book. This is a storybook. Telling, yeah, art and storybook telling you the story of the creation. That's pretty sweet. Nice. And here we go. Here's the rule book. Uh, pretty big. I, I read it over yesterday uh, online. They had a PDF version that I downloaded and, and read through. It was really good, really well done. I think there was one paragraph that I found a little confusing other than that. Uh, really well done. And here we got the tokens. So this is that big guy, that, uh, this big kind of weird shaped wheel. Uh, that's what these guys were for, just to assemble him. Because the two wheels go on top of each other and it's like a dial. It's like a calendar uh, for the game. And there's symbols on the end that all match up. And these are your little cities and the level of your city. So one through four is what they go to. And that's about it for tokens, I think. Set those aside. And this is a pretty tight box. The pieces, uh, you can't get your fingers in there really, really well. Here's the board. Uh, you got the back side there. Pretty plain, pretty basic. Uh, it's got an image of that giant wheel, the calendar. But basically you're playing your, your land tiles out on here, the city tiles. And uh, you're moving your characters around, interacting with players. The board gets smaller as you get less players. Uh, so that's something. And then inside this box, because it was a, uh, a Kickstarter, they did a nice big thank you. And what does this say? Insert of fame. Thank you. And then right along here and all on the bottom, are the names of everyone that uh, backed the Kickstarter. So, and it's actually an image too. It looks like a guy holding a sword and shield there. I could probably find myself in here, but um, I actually gave myself a, a special unique name. So it looks like this might even come out if you didn't want it in there. Yeah, it's, it's actually a separate piece that you could actually pull out, but I'm gonna leave that in here. Let's get on to the minis and uh, finish up quickly. Maybe I'll open a pack of cards just to look at some cool artwork or something like that. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna keep them in here just so I can kind of show you. So those are the uh, sea serpent folk. Uh, here we got the bears, the bear folk, the, the forest dwellers. The other ones were the water. And now they're all just falling out. Um, <laughs> awesome. And then uh, here we have the, the fire dwellers uh, with the griffins, I think, is what they were. Or phoenixes. They were phoenixes. That's what they had. All right. Well, since they're all falling out anyways, I might as well just show you one at a time. Uh, I think there there's a male and female of each. So this is the male for the uh, the bear. There you go. Pretty cool. Lots of detail, but the actual figure himself, their faces, well, I mean, it's tiny. It's tiny, so it's, it's hard to see. Uh, let's see. Here we got uh, the Griffin Rider here. Get that in front of my face so it doesn't zoom in on me. He's riding, looks like he has like some sort of uh, crazy throwing weapon. I don't know. It's almost like a giant shuriken thing. Pretty sweet. Uh, here is the female sea serpent. Nice. There we go. Good zoom. 
got like a hydra thing kind of going on there which is cool uh there she is she's hard to see covered by dragons which isn't a bad thing and finally let's take a look at one of these guys this is like a two-headed phoenix i didn't know that phoenixes were two-headed uh maybe just in some lore they are come on zoom in on that for me But yeah, these are pretty cool. I'm happy with those. I, I'm a painter, so I'm not sure if I'm actually going to paint or not on these ones. Uh, I think it would be a lot of work, and I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let me open up um, some character ones. I know there's these support cards, and there's, I think, 30 of them. So that whole pack might just be pack support and other basic cards. So I want to pull out some stuff with some cool artwork. The whole game is um, icons only. None of the cards have any kind of uh, writing. So that's kind of a good thing. So here are the green... Oh, what are they called now? Come on. Um, not Chieftains, the one before... The Freeman. These ones are called Freeman. And then here are ooh, the chieftains. There's a couple different forms of chieftain, male and female. So here's a chieftain here for you. And here is a priest. And here is a lord, which is the highest level of character you can have. There's four, four for each. Come on, there you go. So those are the, all the green faction. Now, um, in this game, you want to kind of collect all... Oh, that one's cool. Freeman of Fire. That one's pretty sweet. Anyways, I think that's all I'm going to show you for these characters. But it's got some pretty sick artwork going on here. I'm happy with that. Uh, maybe I'll show you some road tiles. Why not? Why not? Because I'm here. I'm showing you... I'm opening stuff. Might as well just... Give you guys the lowdown as well if I can open this. The package is saying no. The package does not want me to show you. Should have pre pre open these maybe. I don't know. In the meantime, in the comments, you can uh, tell me how much you love my voice uh, from Banshee to uh, Siren. Since we're going mythical games here, uh, so here's just like a basic uh, road. That's a forest road, uh, two exits. Then they've got, here's a forest road with three exits. Um, they're all basic looking. Uh, this one is a forest, two exits with a town. So this town, you can actually start a colony there. Uh, let's see, here's a water town. So the artwork on here is pretty cool. It's a little convoluted. I like this one, it's like a swamp almost. Um, there's a lot going on. This is a four exit terrain, so you can exit on all four sides. Oh, nice. What's this? Uh, there's some sweet artwork on this card. <laughs> I don't know what it's for. Come on, focus. Focus. Oh, well, you guys missed out. That's like some tight artwork on there. I think that's actually for a campaign. Uh, with the Kickstarter, there was like some campaign stuff going on, and uh, there were some like extra mission kind of things going on that you could that you could do, and maybe that's what that's sort of. Cool. So that's a uh, Battalion of the Creation. Uh, Kickstarter should hopefully be in stores in the next uh, month or so. Uh, me and Jeffrey are going to do a before and after review of this game. That's going to be coming out in within the week, I think. So look for that. Uh, glad you could join us today, and we'll see you next time.